Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm using Windows 7 Beta Build 7000 on this HP TouchSmart PC. And uh, you can, of course, download that same beta from Microsoft officially and try it for yourself. I wanted to demonstrate uh, uh, one of the more interesting upgrades that uh, Microsoft has applied in terms of window management inside of Windows 7. So I'm going to open up, uh, or try to open up an Explorer window. Of course, I can open up, let's say, an Internet Explorer window as well. So there, I've got IE8 running here. And I've got uh, a Windows Explorer window running here. Now, this is a, a pretty large resolution that I have on this HP TouchSmart. But let's say uh, your screen resolution is rather small and you want to uh, have both Internet Explorer and a Windows Explorer running side by side. It's kind of tricky to get uh, them both optimized to take up just part of the screen. You know what I'm talking about? Well, here's what you can do inside of Windows 7. Grab one of the windows and let's say I want to kind of uh, make it take up this half of the screen, the left half. I just drag and drop it over to the left hand side until a, a window uh, skeleton appears. Uh, and then I drag and drop the other window over to the right side until a skeleton appears and I let go of each. And now I can browse both. It automatically resizes it, and then when I want to go back to the regular mode, I just drag and drop them away. And if I want to maximize a window, yes, I can double click the title bar, but that's old school. That is so old school. So if I wanted to do it the right way, do you see how I did that? I didn't double click. I just clicked and dragged it either to the top of the screen and let go, or click and drag it away. And it works with any window. Click, drag up, let go. Click, drag down, let go. So you want to go full screen with an app? Just drag it to the top. You want to dock an app onto the side? Just drag it to the side. Bam! And then let go. So convenient. So easy. And yeah, I gotta admit, that's kind of fun. Uh, when I press the maximize button um, inside of the uh, of the uh, the regular Explorer window, of course it goes full screen. But then I can just drag away, and uh, then I'm no longer full screen. So no matter what kind of screen you're running, I think you're gonna have an easier time with managing Windows, uh, especially if you have a smaller screen and you're trying to maximize screen real estate, uh, browsing multiple windows as well, at once. And the prime example is there's the One Explorer window there, and let's open up the recycle bin here and drag it over there. So now I've got two Explorer windows, one running on each side of the screen. Very nice, very convenient, and I, I must say, I do appreciate uh, that particular feature inside of Windows 7. Now, if you know of any other cool new shortcuts uh, that are going to be coming in Windows 7, maybe they're already there, feel free to drop me a line. My email address is chris at perillo.com, and uh, you're more than welcome to stop by our community of geeks to share those tips and tricks too, geeks.perillo.com. And then we also have a chat room, uh, which is uh, always open, uh, and it seems that... Uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm growing hoarse because I've been talking about Windows 7 so much tonight. It's kind of exciting to play with a new operating system. i got to admit, it is fun. And that's what computing is all about. Fun! Because if you can't have fun, well, why are you doing it? Anyway, you're more than welcome to stop by the chat room. We're typically talking tech, sharing tips and tricks 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.